If you have been out of the loop on Windows IoT, Windows Embedded products, this is the video for you. I'll get you caught up with everything around Windows IoT, the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. All right, let's jump right into it. Let's get you caught up with the latest Windows IoT news and updates using my knowledge blast. So for starters, Windows 11 IoT Enterprise Build 22H2, which is obviously from the second half of 2022, was just recently launched September 20th, 2022. If you need access to that build, um, again, it's not an LTSC version of Windows 11. It's just considered a GAC, a general available channel version. Get with me, get with my team, and we can get you access to that product. And uh, you can start playing around with Build 22 H2. I will have another video and another blog that will dive into what exactly you get with 22 H2. But for now, we're flying through the latest news. What's next? Windows 10 IoT Enterprise Build 22 H2. Um, that guy was released on October 18th, 2022. That is also obviously a non-LTSC version. That is the GAC version. And it, uh, again, from the second half of 2022, completely now available for you to start testing. So again, if you have a license for the GAC version of Windows 10 IoT Enterprise, you can move to this version for no cost. Uh, but obviously, it's best to start testing with that first. Get with us. We'll get you access to the bits so you can start testing. And then if you feel like moving your appliance up to that version, you can. Again, LTSC versions, completely different story. Those are locked into certain builds. Uh, the LTSC 2021, 2019, they do not get access to this build 22H2. What's up next? The general availability date for EDIB or Edge Device for uh, Image Builder, Edge Device Image Builder. That is the new wizard driven toolkit that really helps you create a customized image for the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021 product. Um, that product has been in public preview. I think we're on preview number seven or number eight now. We're at, I lost track, but I can tell you that the Official GA is coming very soon. Uh, we don't have the, the date yet, but it is it is very close. And once it goes GA and becomes available, you can then use that tool for a production device. At this time, uh, it is a public preview and not to be used with a production device. But you can certainly start testing, playing around with it. And again, I have other videos of how you can, with links to get that. I'll put a link in the description where you can download the EDIV tool. All right, what's next? SQL IoT Server 2022. We've still been waiting for a release date on that, and we still do not have that date, but obviously it is very soon. Um, once we get that, you would, you'll be able to obviously download the product and start testing it. It is in public preview. You can go download and start testing with the uh, regular version, but the IoT version, we don't have an OPK, we don't have a media kit yet, and we don't have part numbers or pricing or a date, but clearly it is called SQL IoT Server 2022 right now. So unless the name changes, we should be getting a GA um, or official release date here soon. And next up is uh, NXP Windows IoT BSP 1.2 was released. So there was a new BSP 1.2 released of Windows IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021 that works on ARM and specifically the NXP IMX 8 family of processors. We've been testing that. We've been having some pretty good success. Um, I expect to write some blogs and do some additional videos on that subject matter in the future. But right now, that uh, BSP 1.2 was released on October 3rd, 2022, and it continues to improve and it is available. It is available for a production system um, and there are new part numbers for the ARM uh, that come in under the entry. So it's called BASE, uh, very affordable. Uh, the least expensive version of Windows 10 IoT Enterprise you can buy and it will run on an ARM processor and um, 
if you want some help or you're more interested in learning more about the arm and what boards get with us and we can help you with that next up some really good news around office so in the iot channel we have um, lots of customers that use office with their appliance now office is considered a general purpose product and um, you can't just you know that's obviously why it's not available in the iot channel but there are situations where you might have an appliance and you've in you know embedded office excel um, um, or word into your appliance so it might have to display a report or display a spreadsheet or something like that but your appliance controls access to the office product and that is an option but today it's difficult for customers because you have to buy office through the other channels which can be complicated we've been working with the iot channel and it's going to be 2023 now uh, but we will have an office part number through the iot channel for our partners to purchase and it will um, hopefully simplify a lot of those complications of buying through the other channel more info to come on that soon again probably a blog and another video specifically on office that we can dive into that subject matter all right the next thing is the lock it down blog so a lot of questions on ken can you help me lock down my appliance what are my what are my what are the features what are my options how far can i take it do i even have to lock it down i get a lot of people who say um, I don't want to run Windows IoT because I don't want to lock it down. Well, guess what? You don't have to. Um, it depends on your appliance. Very flexible terms because Microsoft doesn't know what sort of appliance you're building and how far you want to lock it down. I wrote a blog on that. It is available now. It is out on um, our Arrow website, which I'll have a link to here in just a minute, uh, as well as in the, uh, the, the description of the video. Put the link down there as well. Next up, Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC. So lots of people asking about when will we have an LTSC version of Windows 11? And it's gonna be a few years. So we're probably expecting late 2024, but there is no official word from Microsoft on when that will be, but we can definitely not, I definitely can tell you that it won't be 2023. And if you wanna look at the you know previous editions of LTSC it went 2016 2019 2021 and if you follow the trend it will be 2024 sometime in 2024 that should be uh, what we're looking for for an LTSC version of Windows 11. Windows 10 end of life so let's talk about this one real quick because um and, and very important. I'm only talking about the general version of Windows 10, which is your home and professional. Those products are going into life this year, October 31st, 2022. Now, again, that's in the regular channel. That's your regular Windows 10 products. Um, and if you plan on running Windows 10 for a while you and, it, and you're using an appliance, or if you're not sure if you qualify for the IoT version, get with us. Let's talk. Let's talk through it. But you're definitely going to want to move to the IoT channel because only in the IoT channel does it go further. So let's talk about Windows 10 end of support. Again, not the IoT version, but the regular version. Um, the support and the retirement of that product is October 2025. So again, there's a difference between end of life and end of support retirement. End of life is the ability to procure, buy the product and then sell it. End of support is your security patches, hot fixes, tech support, that sort of thing. So um, obviously uh, different build versions of Windows 10 and those build versions will get support a little bit longer than normal. But the current build 22H2 that just came out in the regular channel, uh, the support is till 5 May 14th, 2024. Because in the regular channel, you don't get 36 or months or three years, you get 24 months of support. So that product just came out October 2022, build 2022 20, H2. It will only get two years of support, May of 2024. That's as far as that guy goes. 
If we jump down to Windows 10 IoT Enterprise, again, not the LTSC version, this is the GAC version, the end of support for it is May 13th, 2025. You get a one additional year compared to the regular channel Windows 10. So that product will get support, the current build, 22H2 of Windows 10 IoT Enterprise, non-LTSC, also known as GAC, will get support until May of 2025. That does leave a little window between that October 2025, right? So there's, a, there's some weird spacing there. So we don't know if there's going to be another build of Windows 10. You'll have to stay tuned for information on that. And as soon as I find out, we will let everyone know. Now let's talk about, lastly, um, a new short URL to um, our Arrow Microsoft website um, that will get you there quickly. It is now available. And all you have to do is type arrow.com slash win IoT for Windows Internet of Things, win IoT. Short URL, easy to remember, arrow.com slash winIoT. And this will bring you to the brand new Arrow Microsoft website with tons of information. So using the menu across the top, if you look underneath the support tab, there is a wonderful new interactive roadmap that is very neat, hovering your mouse over the different products. It'll show you the, uh, the life cycle of the products with the end of support, end of life dates. And then under the resources tab, I have blogs, I have videos. Um, lots of neat things underneath there to keep you up to speed on things. So with that, thank you guys for watching this Knowledge Blast. Stay tuned for other videos where we'll dive into those subject matters a little bit deeper, provide additional information. Like, comment, and uh, ask any questions you want below in the comments, and I will get you some answers. Thank you guys for watching.